Hey you guys, so I'm ending the day. I am having my chai tea and relaxing on the couch, surrounded by my plants and listening to French Fry Girl catching up on all the shenanigans that happen nonstop. So today we did go Halloween hunting and uh, I didn't get my phone out a lot. I wasn't like, mm, let me take a picture of that. Um, like it was cute, but it wasn't anything that I wanted to get or anything like that. The coolest thing was um, they had a pumpkin, but it looked like a realistic pumpkin. It wasn't a jack-o'-lantern or anything. And it looked like a, crystal, like a what's it called, disco ball. It was actual glass and they were cut into like little squares and set in there with the grout. It, it looked pretty cool. Like if there would have been two different sizes, I would have grabbed one. But my friend Susie and I went together and she found one and was gonna grab one and then I was gonna grab the other. We ended up leaving empty handed. Uh, well, no, I got a bust that I've been wanting. And, um, you know, it's to look at it, it's a classical bust, but I'm gonna paint it a uh, fuchsia and put it on my bookshelves because I already have this gothic um, ethereal bust that I have up there. And I'm not doing anything to that one. That one's staying the way it is. But to this one, um, I'm definitely gonna add color. And uh, let's see, there was like a fruit bowl holder that had, uh, it looked like a spider web and it had a little foot at the bottom, like it was footed, like a uh, cake stand. And uh, it was just a wire basket with some spiders. There was a decanter with a skeleton hand around it. I don't think, well, I would only use it as decor. I wouldn't uh, put alcohol in it at all. I don't think it's meant for that. I'm not sure if it's food safe. I just saw it. Then uh, also there was this really pretty, um, another, uh, like a cake stand, but it, it had a dome and the skull on top was uh, this black wrought iron and everything. It was just not even. Like, if you just look at it right there, you know, just like walk by, see it, you're like, oh yeah. But if you get it up close, uh, you could see that at the base, it was kind of tilting a little bit. And the base wasn't like thick enough to, for me to feel like I could maneuver it and have it not break off or anything like that. But uh, there was that, there was a lot of beautiful stuff for Eid. I wish um, I knew people that I could, you know, come over and do like a potluck only because I don't even know how to cook a single dish. So, um, which is something that I'm gonna try to do tomorrow. Uh, let's see, Jesse has duty, but um, maybe I'll get Vinny to come with me to the grocery store and we can get a few things and uh, make something. It depends on how it goes tomorrow. Remember, I still have those dogs in the morning. Um, I'm still going for my bike ride. That's something I don't want to stop. I've forgotten how good it feels even when you come back and you're just dripping sweat <laughs> and I'm like showering and then having to walk the dogs and then having to shower again. It's just, uh, <laughs> but hey, it gives me funds. So I like that instead of, um, I feel like being forced to work. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, you're all kind of a little forced to work if you're not like rich because you want a roof over your head and then stuff. And then you get to finally be more in the group of like, well, I have a roof, but I want a better roof. Or I have this stuff, but I want better stuff. And then, you know, it starts changing. But um, I'm trying to save for something that's a little bit big. I did spend some money today on the bust and what else did i get babe the bust and something else 
the rice rolls. Oh yeah, I got rice rolls. <laughs> you can tell, I mean, they had some Halloween, it just wasn't me. It, some of it, okay, so now I want color in my life because after all this time, I've always been like anti-color, you know, just like give me dark, dark greens and black and just, you know, that was my life. And now I'm like, I want happy colors. I want to be like that. Don't come for me. I don't remember her name, but she's this cool old lady that wears all this chunky jewelry that I don't know how she can hold her neck up, but God bless her. She is amazing and she's so colorful, but you can tell she's elegant, but like sassy. That's going to be me. That's going to happen and I'm working towards it. So anyways, um, aside from that, that we saw, there was some Eid uh, serveware and some plates. And I don't have anything for it, like plates and stuff that are specifically made or, you know, have the look. And I was looking at it towards the line and I saw that a lot of them had uh, the silver because I was going for the silver ones, not the gold, uh, because I have gold throughout so i want to have a balance instead of just one so i was looking at it and some of the silver was not on places where it was supposed to be and i'm like no i need like five of these five of these and they're not like it's home good so it's not crazy but it's also not something to you know just blink an eye at and I was like, no, let me just leave them here. I am tired. I don't have the time. I, don't come at me. I made more work for them, I know. I left it at a table. At least it wasn't at a glass shelf where it could fall down and break and everything. Uh, but I left them there. And if anybody looks, they'd see why. Because I was literally in line. I was second one to go. And I looked down and I thought it was just because I had my sunglasses, but no, uh, I think three out of the five plates were missing because it was kind of scalloped and some of the scallops were missing the silver. So it was a no go. I'm not gonna spend the money on my first eat of plates and have it be like that. So maybe tomorrow I can go have a better look, take more time because today, you know, it was, we had our hands full. Um, we can look and see and then get them. Um, I'm trying to transition things that I have. I'm giving stuff to my daughter that's leaving. And uh, my son already spoke for something. So he's getting that. And I just want to pretty much have things ready for when we transition out we fully can commit to what we're doing and oh on the way to was it two no on the way from home goods the halal uh, uh grocery store opened i'm so excited um it was so funny uh susie asked me is it open yet and i'm like no it wasn't i came here at the at the beginning of the week and today's friday and but I had seen extra activity, so and then we're you know driving on by. And I see this little girl with this beautiful long hair, she's running and she's running into the store. And I'm like, Yes, they're open! and uh, that made me happy because we have to go grocery shopping. So we're going to compare when we're gonna decide how we're gonna set up a menu. I have to look for recipes and uh, you know just go about stuff like that i gotta step up my game i feel like i need to i can't be 43 years old and revert back to like a 13 year old that wants to do nothing but just what they want to do you know what i mean that i'm gonna get that when i'm 60 but not yet so anyways um, yeah, that's all that's going on for right now. The Al, he leaves Monday. He leaves Monday at 10. And then Maple and Nola, 
their parents come Monday, but in the evening. So they still need their routine, nightly routine done. And that's going to be done with dogs. But on Sunday, I'm going to be watching an eight-month-old. Eight so being your own job, doing your own thing. It's freedom because you have so such a break in between sometimes. But when you do have that break in between, you want to make sure that when you get opportunities, you don't pass on them because you don't know how long that next break is going to last. So keep that in mind, you guys. Okay. Have fun. Work hard. But work smarter. Love you guys. Take care. And let me know what you find at your home goods or Cracker Barrel, which we're intending on going on Sunday. See you later. Bye.